Miyakoshi Freddy Mola Ozi, born 1962 in Meilula, Limpopo, also known as the Limpopo Serial Killer, is a South African robber, rapist and serial killer who murdered a total of 13 people from 1990 to 2006, until his capture in July 2006. He was given 11 life sentences for his crimes. Murders Milotsi who was initially imprisoned for two separate murders and an armed robbery committed in 1990, managed to break out of the Bavian Spa Ort prison in Pretoria in 1996. Ever since then, he started committing crimes, beginning in 2004. During that year, he attempted to murder thrice, broke into houses two times, committed two armed robberies and assaults twice, all committed in the Siloam and Lavubu areas. Onwards. From 2005 to 2006, he started committing violent murders, and among his victims were 19-year-old Ndivo Winnedi Chili Mandela, who was raped before being killed, as well as her three cousins, Nyad Zenni, 14, Shumene, 10, and Lefolasani Maxwell Sivhuguana, 7, who were all hacked to death at their home in Thoyandu. 30-year-old Fopi Tracy Radzulani, killed with a sharp object in her house, as well as her children, Rotondwa, 7, and Moses Mushiana, 5, who were burned alive in their bedroom in Chedza village. Household items were also stolen. Shoni Zanithin and Avha, killed in July 2006 at Mulodai, who had her breast right hand, left ear and upper lip sliced off that soon after killing Thin and Avha. Mola Ozi was captured by police while trying to hide in an unused refrigerator. Trial and sentence in October 2006, Mola Ozi briefly appeared before the court, but his case was moved to November 15, as new charges were connected to him by authorities, according to Superintendent Mala Falamo Gipello. Milazzi refused to confess and often caused scenes in the courtroom, in one instance, threatening to sleep during the proceedings if his wife, Tikalani Florence Nethingway, charged with possession of stolen goods, and son were not released, and in another, alleged that the police investigator had bribed him with money and phone cards so he would confess. Eventually, he was convicted of the most charges, with Judge Godfrey Hadizani giving him 11 sentences. References